I moved from Boston to Philadelphia to Atlanta. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the benefits of traveling for me and, and how it helped my sickle cell and how traveling can ultimately help you. What's up, sickle cellers? It's Dr. O and the grind never stops. The reason why I'm making this video is because I've been having a lot of consultations with sickle cell warriors. People are asking me about traveling and they noticed that I moved to Atlanta and they wanted to ask about my experience and what it's like moving and traveling with sickle cell. So because I'm constantly getting these questions during consultations, I figured I'd make a video about it. My personal experience with moving has been great uh, for a lot of reasons. Uh, if y'all notice, I moved from Boston to Philly to Atlanta. And every time I'm moving, I'm moving somewhere warmer uh, because uh, ultimately it does a lot for my health to be in a warmer environment. I grew up in Boston where the weather is so much colder there and during the winter times. You know, that seasonal depression and and just your mood isn't the best when it's very cold outside. So I ended up moving to Philadelphia thinking that moving to Philly would make me feel a lot better um, because it's warmer. And um, although Philly is warmer, it's only a couple of degrees warmer. So um, after experiencing a couple of winters in Philadelphia, I'm like, I can't live my life like this. I hate this cold. So I ended up moving to Atlanta. And I absolutely love it here. Um, for me, the weather is perfect. Um, it, you know, every once and then during the summer, it might get a little too hot and humid. But I'd rather take that any time compared to the cold. Because you know what anemia does to my sickle cell warriors. So, anyways, that has been um, my experience with tra with traveling. And, and I've noticed a lot of people are curious about traveling to the States. And um, I wanted to speak about some of the pros and cons of traveling. And so first, I'll speak towards the pros. Well, um, at least for me, moving to a whole new state is uh, extremely exciting. Like, you know, you, it's a new environment, new apartment, new, new living location. And just an opportunity to, like, you know, renew your life. So it's extremely exciting. And like I mentioned, um... At one of the pros of moving down south was the weather is much better. And I personally believe that people are friendlier. In, in regards to being in Atlanta and, and sickle cell disease, one of the cool things that I like about being in Atlanta is that I've actually met a lot of people with sickle cell in Atlanta. Um, and a little interesting fact for y'all who may not know, Atlanta has the highest concentration of people with sickle cell disease in America. So that kind of explains why I'm meeting so many warriors. And it and it's great. Um I, I like it. There's a a community called the Sickle Cell Georgia Foundation. And um every once and then they'll host events for people with sickle cell. And from there I've been able to make some friends with sickle cell people and it, and it's been it's been great. Those were the pros for me. Um being in a warmer weather, um adapting to a new lifestyle and, and just living life and having more fun. And then uh, and being able to meet more people with sickle cell um, were some of the pros. I would say the two cons of moving um, have to do with the cost of traveling and moving, obviously. Um, this is, is, is a pretty big cost to move, honestly. Um, and, and it takes a lot of time and adjusting. But once you get situated, um, I personally believe it's worth it. And then the, another con that has to do with me personally is I move moving down south the healthcare system isn't as um competent and as good as up north I came from Boston where they had the best healthcare system particularly particularly I was in Boston Medical Center and they've done an outstanding job taking care of me nowadays um I I'm in Atlanta and I went to Grady's and my experience as a sickle cell warrior there was terrible i believe I, I spoke more about that in depth on my other videos the healthcare system down south isn't 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 a hundred percent great if you do decide to move you really want to be considerate of the type of doctors you're working with 
and that they actually know about sickle cell because unfortunately um, medical school doesn't really go too deep into sickle cell. When I was in pharmacy school, um, I, pharmacy school was six years, and I remember the day they actually dedicated to sickle, sickle cell disease, and that was literally like one page of the PowerPoint, and like we went over it in two minutes, and I'm like, what? Like that was all? Like, and then I never heard about sickle cell again. So a lot of doctors and um, healthcare professionals, we don't receive a lot of information about that. If, if you're a sickle cell warrior and you're considering moving, um, you know, the two biggest factors I would personally consider um, in regards to your sickle cell, you know, is the weather that you're going to be in and the healthcare system that and, and, and the doctors that you'll be working with. I think those are the two things that I would take into consideration when moving. Um, for your sickle cell, obviously, you move into so much other factors that you have to take into account. When once you move to a warmer environment, um, I, I find myself having a lot more energy, um, and and I'm more willing to be outside. And 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 I notice I I, I do a lot less with my sickle cell. I don't have as much crises, and uh, my mood is overall better. So. I believe that being in a warmer environment obviously helps. Now, obviously, you don't want to be in a place that's too hot. Um, when I was doing my consultations, you know, I've 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 I've, I've spoke to people where they're in extremely cold areas like Canada, and then I've also sp- spoke to people who are from Africa who are complaining that it's too hot here. The regions that I I personally believe um are great in terms of weather are are down south. Most of down south um, is, is, is has um, great weather where it's not so hot, but it's not too cold for you to not enjoy your time there. And then uh, a lot of the places in the West Coast region um, are personally places I would consider moving for a, if you want to have great um, like weather for your sickle cell. So like you know the mid coast, the West, like um, California, like the like like California have good weather for for people with sickle cell yeah so that's that sickle cell warriors i just wanted to make a brief video about traveling and moving to a whole new state i know there's a lot of people who watch this video who are considering traveling and so i i just wanted to make a video about that and explain what are my preferences and what i'm thinking about when moving um because i do believe that being in an environment that suits your health will greatly impact um, how well you can live with your sickle cell. You know, if you're in a place that's really cold, eh. And if you're in a place that's too hot, eh. So, uh, yeah. Um, thank you, Sickle Cell Warriors, for watching my videos. If you would like to do a consultation and to speak with me or ask questions about sickle cell or my personal experience, please click the link in the bottom in the description below, and I'll be more than happy to assist you And I wish you all best of luck with taking care of yourself. And see ya.